Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you here if this is your very first time. Welcome back if you are returning. Today I have some easy high-end farmhouse decoupage DIYs, and it's all for the love of Christmas. I am joining this open collaboration between three beautiful, phenomenal crafters here on YouTube, and we will talk about that coming up. So if you're interested in seeing what I create, I suggest that you keep on watching. Okay, for the first DIY, I'm using this Together We Rise. This was a um, Juneteenth sign from the Dollar Tree that I picked up on clearance. And I'm just removing the jute um, hanger off. And we're going to cover up this side and use the back side. And we're going to cover it up using some craft paper from the Dollar Tree. All right. I like making sure that this step is being done because I do sell my crafts and um, I do gift my crafts. And so this will keep it high end looking and um, you don't want to give someone give someone anything or sell someone anything that is not finished and complete looking. I'm going to take this picture out of the calendar for 2024, this beautiful Merry Christmas sign, and we are going to be decoupaging. If you're new to decoupaging, make sure that you do it in sections. I'm a little swift with it now, and um, so I go ahead and do the entire sign, but you want to make sure that you give the sign a generous amount. Make sure that you get the edges Get the edges really, really good so they won't lift up on you when you go to sand it down um, to make it nice and neat. And what we're going to do is take our time and get this down. Now, this is sped up. So, yeah, you know, it did take me a little time. So I like to press the edges down with my fingers a bit. Go back over it with a little bit of my Podge. And then we are going to do some distressing, okay? So I sanded down the edges with my sanding block from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take some Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel from Walmart and this and just do a little bit of distressing around the edges and then we will kind of distress a bit in the middle and then we'll kind of go between distressing and sanding down, distressing, dry, dry brushing rather and sanding down, you know, here and there just to make sure that it kind of gets in. Um, because we are making these, all these projects today, farmhouse projects. So keep on watching. I'm going to take some of these little pine picks from the Dollar Tree and some berries and do a little bit of embellishing. And that will be it for this little Merry Christmas for the love of Christmas. Uh-huh farmhouse sign i think it turned out stinking cute Okay, again, this is for the Love of Christmas Open Challenge. The host is Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. She has two beautiful co-hosts, six kids and a glue gun, Amanda, and from Crafty Hints, Chantel. Make sure that you check these ladies' 
channels out. All three of their channels will be listed below as well as the entire playlist for this open challenge. So if you are from any of the Beautiful Crafters channels, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you stop by. To all of the new subscribers, I thank you as well. So we're going to go ahead and get into DIY number two. All right, I have this coastal sign from Dollar General. And uh, what we're going to do is take it apart, take the little two framed edges off. And I painted the sign white from Apple Barrel. And I painted the little framed edges black by Apple Barrel. And we're going to cover up this back part which was the front now with some craft paper get the edges trimmed off again do this ladies and gentlemen if you are selling or gifting your projects even if you're keeping them for yourself because if later on you know someone decides they want it you would like to give it to them you don't have to worry about going to cover up the back i promise you yeah it's going to definitely make a difference. So what I'm going to do is take some Mod Podge. And we're going to be using this beautiful napkins from the Dollar General for $1. And um, this is what the napkin looks like all around on the other three sides. And I already trimmed out what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to get this my podge all over the entire sign because I just like the way that looks. I don't like just deco putting the my podge the area is gonna go because sometimes you can kind of tell the difference, you know, in the sign where something isn't and something is. So what I'm gonna do is take my time and kind of press this out. Now for this project here, I um decided to go back over the napkin with my sponge just to get that Mod Podge back in like I'm doing here. And I always remember after I finish that I shouldn't do it with these napkins. I like doing that with the calendar, but I really don't like doing it with the napkins because it tends to bubble up. And what I should have done was just use my sponge with the napkins. I like that technique better. It just lays it down better without having all the bubbles. But it's fine because we're going for that farmhouse look. So it's going to give it that little um, rustic type of edge, you know. So here I'm using the sponge in which I should have just used the sponge by itself without going back over with any more Mod Podge. So that's just a little quick tip and a little hint for you if you want to try that. And we're going to just go ahead and glue the little two frame parts back down pieces back down and then we'll do some distressing some dry brushing with some burnt umber and all of in the areas that i feel like i want to put it and then yeah this is going to turn out real cute i really love it it's simple it's definitely simple and it's high end and it was very very easy And that is so, so cute. I think it turned out stinking cute, y'all. Happy holidays. They're going to be here very, very soon, y'all. And I'm in love with the red pickup truck. Yes, yes, yes. I think this turned out so, so cute. You have to let me know in the comments what you think. All right, so if you like anything so far that you've seen, give me a big old thumbs up. You've seen two beautiful DIYs already, and I have a third one waiting on you, baby. Comment. Let me know what it is that you do like. And if this is your type of content and you're new here for the very first time, or maybe this was your third or fourth time stopping by and you have not joined this family, consider please subscribe and hit the bell as well so that you don't miss out, baby, on what is coming next because <laughs> I got them. 
I got them a lot of DIY projects in store so you don't want to miss out so let's go ahead and jump into this last one and final one and it's definitely cute as well so keep on watching all right I have this little globe here I picked up from Dollar Tree last year I did the little project on this side so we're going to use the back side okay I took the jute ribbon off we're going to use this small napkin this comes from Dollar General as well it was one dollar and they are so pretty I got these this year the other napkin and this one and that's what it looks like on the inside and I already cut this out trimmed this out and we're going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge here and get this napkin decoupage down now in this project you will not see me go back over it with my pot you will just see me use the sponge and I love this much better much much better y'all try it out and let me know in the comments if this is the way you do it or let me know which way you like decoupaging Okay, so off camera around the top edges and around the sides, I dry brushed it with a, with a little bit of white apple barrel paint because it wasn't liking the way it was looking from last year with a little bit of paint getting on the top. So um, yeah, I think that made it look more complete. So let me know in the comments, y'all. All right, that is it for these beautiful, for the love of Christmas, farmhouse decoupage DIYs. I think they all turned out absolutely beautiful. You have to let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a big old thumbs up because that helps me out, okay? Remember, subscribe and hit the bell as well. Now, this is an open challenge, okay? So there are lots of, lots of good inspiration for christmas projects here on this playlist which will be linked below the host and co-host channels will be linked below as well head over and check them out let them know the crafty doll from ib doll melinda is my name that i sent you and again if you are new here welcome 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 oldies but goodies y'all know how i feel about you baby i appreciate each and every one of you now i'm gonna catch y'all in my next video God bless you. Thanks for watching from the beginning to the end. And you didn't speed it up either, girlfriend. Bye-bye, y'all.